here and I'm really excited to have a special guest joining me today. Yay! <laughs> Sean. <laughs> We're going to be doing a really fun 24 minute HIIT workout. We're going to be doing the same thing. We have, uh, let's see, six different moves. We're going to do 70 seconds of work, then 60 seconds of work, and then 50 seconds of work, all of the same move back to back. And to do this, we're going to be using two different pieces of equipment. Sean is going to be working with the kettlebell, and I'm going to be using the sandbag. So you can see how to do this with any kind of gear. Well, this um, is my first workout with you. I'm a little nervous. Yeah. I've seen you online. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little nervous too. Yeah, well, go, go a little easy on me. All right. Yeah. I will. All sure. right. <laughs> Off with some swings. Oh yeah. How much you got in that thing? I don't know. I just stacked a couple of uh, weight vests in there. It looks like you got a lot of weight. Yeah. I don't. Woo! I don't got 20? That's good. Alright. So what do you like to think about when you do swings? Uh when the beat's coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> start getting a little bit of a mental block soon. Yeah, that's good to do. A little bit of a zone out while you work out. I like doing that. Whew. Nice hinge at the hips. Yeah. Big booty squeeze at the top. <laughs> Everyone wants that booty move, right? Yeah, so good. Is this getting competitive yet, guys? No. <laughs> It's only the first one. Are yeah. Guys, are, you guys, are you guys gonna have an abs off after this? Oh, we should have an abs off. No, she's got me. Our next workout's gonna be an abs off she's together. Got <laughs> only ten seconds. <laughs> and only, then, only, only ten seconds. Only. And then we get to do it again. <laughs> wow. Oh, nice. Well, at least that was the longest. My buns are. Feeling it? Yeah, and the buns. My buns feel it too. Alright, what are we doing? Not the same off. thing, we're doing it again! Oh, <laughs> but for <laughs> 60 seconds, it's shorter. Oh. Which makes it somewhat better. <laughs> That's always questionable though. It's all lit up. You should work it. So we're going to 50 right after this? Yep, exactly. Going wow. the pyramid. This really does burn the buns. Yes, it really does. <laughs> Okay. So when you're at the top, are you just flexing it? Yeah, big time. Definitely give it a big flex. We can crack some more nuts. Yep. Chest nuts roasting Ooh. on an open fire. <laughs> it's a seasonally appropriate workout. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh my god. Almost there. Ooh, another 10 second countdown. So close. Yeah. <laughs> One more. Then we get to move on. It's getting hot up in here. <laughs> it is. I know for my swings, I always have to think about keeping my abs really tight on the bend so I can control that weight. In addition to that big flex at the top. Kettlebell treating you. Oh, it's getting heavier. Yeah. 20 became 40 real quick. That's what happens. Not sure what happened to the sandbag. I think it's about 75. Uh, <laughs> oh, almost. Then I get to go into some donkey hops. A little more cardio, because that's, that's what we need. <laughs> All right, All right. Guys. What are we doing? We're doing some donkey hop overs. I'm going to use this as a little marker for my feet. Let's see. Activity complete. Oh, but that's not really true. I'm going to re recalibrate. <sighs> okay. I'm starting down in this little pipe position and popping the feet over side to side. Oh, yeah. So what kind of tip do you think 
can you give us? For this? For this one to stay nice and light. Yes, exactly what I was going to say. Nice and light so you're landing soft. So really thinking about engaging your abs as you hop over. Now are we wanting hang time or are we wanting just to kick those legs up to get the butt and right back down? I'm trying to get a little bit of hang time up yeah. there. Yeah. I don't know how much I'm really hanging, yeah. but <laughs> oh. I like to think that I am. <laughs> just I know, so you kind of feel, feel cool for that split second you and then sure your shoulders do. start going, yeah. oh come on. That is for oh. sure. Oh, yeah. oh damn. It's not an exciting number yet. <laughs> 10 seconds? Now we're at 10. Whew. Awesome. I'm even getting those quads going on, too. No. Oh, my goodness. Shoulders. Damn, yes. So much shoulder. <laughs> All right, 60. Getting the countdown. Oh, boy. Are you ready for it? Doing it again. Awesome. So I'm just going to show you real quick. Beth's got her hands directly up underneath her shoulders, okay? So, or they're just a little bit further out, you're going to get a maximum shoulder blur the closer your hands are towards the body, all right? So if they're out here a little bit further, you're not going to feel that through the shoulders. She's almost in a pipe press right away um, when she's landing. And if you're nice and soft on your feet, you can transfer the weight and you don't have to hang. You can do it quick. Yeah. <laughs> if you can't get over this bag, you can want it. Just do a little step over. Want it? Perfect. Yeah. That is still lighten up the shoulders like no one's business. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. A little 10 seconder. That's like a little break. <laughs> After 50. <sighs> All right, here it is. Lowering <sighs> it down. It always feels a little bit better <laughs> as the time gets shorter. <sighs> so good, Chen. Oh, if you can't do the butt, if you can't even get your legs up now, just hop side to side, right? And yeah. Move that marker up in front of you and just go side to side. All right, if you're gassed, if you can't do any more, but if you can, or even every other one, all right, every other one, you can come back and forth. Make, I love that every other one idea. Just make it work for you. Almost there. Awesome. Oh, man. All right. Abby's doing that leg lift over. So I'm again going to use this as a marker for myself. I'll just do that a couple of times today. 10 seconds. <laughs> right. So, what are we doing? Up and over? Yeah, up and over, and then a little crunch with both legs on the side. Where are your hands? I was going to leave them down right okay. by my hips. A little support there. So you can come up, drive it in. Up oh, and over, okay. drive it in. Gotcha. And I like having that piece of equipment out in front of me because it keeps me honest <laughs> <I didn't. laughs> on, on lifting those legs up a little bit higher <laughs> than I might without it. <laughs> oh yeah, my quads. Feel this yeah. from that last move. They are still lit up. And I think a good modification for this would be to um, like drop your heels down on the side, and then you can crunch it in. So you can lift up and over, crunch it in. Now, are we going kind of on our hip? Are we bringing the legs right up? Are we kind of giving it an angle? I'm getting a little bit of an angle, so I'm curling off to the side, awesome. towards the hip, so you get that side crunch in. Abs tight. Wow. Straight back. Yes. <laughs> it is good. 70 seconds is not oh playing around. Oh, 60. Sometimes this helps a little bit. The shaky, the thigh shake. <laughs> ready for 60? Yeah. A little bit? There we go. I'm a little bit ready. Oh, 
my. <sighs> it's a single leg over. It is. It's so much more work. <sighs> it's a lot more work. Yeah. So that's a good idea for another modification is you could do a double over, crunch it in, double over, crunch it in. Of course, dropping it down. Wow. At the bottom too. <laughs> my lanta. Wow. Yes. It is a little bit killer. Oh my gosh. This is killing me. This is killing me too. I'm jumping into that modification. Legit. There's nothing wrong with that. 10 seconds. Uh, nice. Uh, we have to survive this together. <laughs> oh my. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> I've only seen the pyramids on. On your Instagram. Oh, it ain't no joke. It is not a ain't joke. No joke. Not playing around with the pyramids. <laughs> no. This is when you feel like you have conquered. <laughs> Let me get through this. Oh my gosh. My legs and my abs are just wow. suffering. Try to think about keeping a straight back, tight abs on these guys. I'm modifying. Oh, me too. I am all about that modification right I'm now. Over. Yeah. Over. I'm doing a little tappy at the bottom. Wow. Just to get through it. <laughs> Getting through this one. Oh, nice. That means we get to do another move. Let's see what do we have next. Squat. Oh, that? squat high pull. All right. Wow. Ready for that. Okay, 10 seconds. Let's see how I'm gonna hold this bad boy. So squat with a little high pull. So what are we working? We're going down? We're going down, we're coming up. Wow. Yeah. That will get the abs real nice yes. after, after after doing those. You can <laughs> yeah. just feel the bottom parts just going. Hello. Hello. Yeah. This is great. This is a great little combo. I like this combo. Get some back action in there. I really feel this work in the abs, so wow. Yeah. Yeah, I like stacking moves so that they just keep working yeah, <laughs> the same parts. The Makes it that much harder. So, this is how you have your 18 pack, right? Yeah. That's how you do it. <laughs> You too. Uh, you know the tricks. <sighs> oh, pushing that booty back. Do the squat. Oh, little tushy squeeze at the top. Yeah, it's also hitting the buns. Yep. Relighting them up from those swings. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm glad that 70 seconds is done. So it looks like, you know, this looks easy <laughs> if you're looking at it, but yeah. it's not. It's my heart rate is at a buck forty right now. Nice, and that's awesome. I'm working. I'm gonna get to fail here. Yep. Right now, not the second, but I'm anticipating it coming up. So when you anticipate it coming up, you gotta prepare yourself mentally to try to bust through it and give yourself a fighting chance to break through the plateau. So whatever that means, pick a spot on the floor, think about something that's unrelated, clear your mind, focus on the task at hand, and wrap it out. Good. We're almost there. Here we are. Oh, 50 seconds. Wow. Yeah, I love that. It's like a runner's high, but a hit high. <laughs> Where you can really get into that zone. 50 seconds. Here we go. Last time we do this one. 150 on the watch. Good. Oh, damn. Focus on having that weight in the heel so you're squatting down. Yeah. 
you're transferring that weight through the heel, right up. Again, you don't want your elbows flying up. You want them right here, right in the line, right there. Good. Straight up. Squeeze the glutes. Turn the abs on. Every pull, even if your reps are slower, I don't care. Just make sure you're getting the work, all right? Make sure that the form is on, you're squeezing those glutes, the core's on, everything's firing, you're failing out. Oh man, now I'm wondering why I did that shoulder press next. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's what we're on, we're doing an A press. All right, let's get it. All right, so what are we doing? So now, grab the weight, do the shoulder press up and over. Awesome. I don't think I'm going to survive with this thing. That's it. Doing that. <laughs> this is heavy. So one shoulder to the next. All right, what are we doing with our feet? Just hanging out, soft knees. You want to make sure that you have tight core, straight back. You don't want to get all arched and blown out when you do these. And that work in the shoulders. And this is a lot of shoulder work. So if you have to drop weight, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna see how long I can pull through <laughs> before pulling a weight mist out of the sandbag. Because that's how I've loaded it up. Now the kettlebell is gonna be a little bit different. You're gonna have to hold it here. Yeah. All right, you can't really do much. Or you're gonna pass hold over. It to come up and straight over, all right? You will feel it through your abs big time. Keep that core on, nice soft bend in the knees like Beth said. Up. Good. <sighs> so close. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man. Alright, I've got to go down. I gotta lose a weight mist in here. This is a lot for shoulders. I'll train you. You're a little muscle. Can you keep this guy? Yeah. Here you go. Alright. Rock and roll. Here we go. Right up. I don't know if it's any lighter. <laughs> By using the bag, you can definitely feel this a lot more. A little bit differently. I think you can feel it because you can put the hand positioning on the bag. You can actually grab it. Mm -hmm. It's going to nail your shoulders big time a little yeah. bit. It's easier to pull up straight over your head like yeah. that. And the core. Yes. It really emphasizes. Just because of your hand placement. Oh, yeah. So good. The core. Good. Wow, you got 15 to go. Oh man, so close. Work through it. We got this guy. 50 seconds. Wow. We <laughs> get to go on to our last move already. Oh man, that. That one was killer. That's a good one. I think we stacked that we a did. little roughly. We did stack. <laughs> All right. Let's get it again. This is 50 seconds. So exciting. Last time. Last round. Best round of this half. Exhaling on the way up. Oh man, really. To turn that core a lot, don't you? Yeah. So if you need to modify for a second, you can put that bag right on the shoulder, rest it for a Ooh. second. Give it a second, all right? Come up and press it. If you're so gassed, you can actually use a little momentum here. Come through your legs, yeah. come up, bend those knees. Here you go. Press it up and over. So right. push press. Awesome. Oh my God. All right. Ending with abs, we're doing a little toe toucher, so we're going to be laying on the back, feet up in the air, reaching for it with that weight. Activity completed. Our shoulders are going to be so happy. <laughs> so we got toe touches. Toe touches. Yeah. I'll keep on with this kettlebell. So, back glued onto the ground, pulling those abs in. As you reach up towards the toesies, get a nice crunch up. 
now we're trying to get our shoulders up, off. Yeah, getting those shoulder blades all the way up and off the ground. And then I like to think about the descent a lot too, actually. So you don't want to just fall back down onto the mat. <laughs> you want to get a nice lower. So those abs are super engaged as you roll back down. And we just did not give our shoulders a break at all, did we? No. <laughs> no. They're starting to come flat on the ground. Another really important point here is to have your back flush. That lower back's got to be flush. Yes. All right, so if your legs are hanging out and they're too far out like this, you're going to feel an arch in your back. All right, bring those legs right up and keep that back nice and flush. If you're hearing any farting noises, it's because it's a sweaty yep. back. <laughs> yep. And that's what we try to think about. Wow. Lean your back down to eliminate that. Oh boy, that was good. Oh, I have to do a little shoulder shake. All right, so I'm going to show you a mod for that right now. Yeah. Where the exercise goes up. Do you can mod. just go right here, flat on the floor. All right. Mm -hmm. If you can't get up, but I want you to really focus on keeping that back flat. That small of the back is right into the floor but I don't want your shoulders to come and touch, all right? I want you to stay up. Shoulders are just right off, all right? Ooh. If you have to come back down, come back down, give yourself a personal timeout. Then you can come straight back, back flush. Ah, there. If I'm farting, my back's yeah. not flush, mm -hmm. all right? That's telling you I got some air pockets back there. It's a good little reminder, little reminder noise. So Sean, do you have some new workouts coming out soon? I do. Ooh. I do. So exciting. Yeah, the FF went, FFF went pretty good. Yeah? And we're going to be doing some more of those. <sighs> and Mike, we're doing some more of these Germans. Yeah, the Germans are the best. This is our last round. It is. <laughs> so this is your last modification, just like this? Yes, it's the Savasana. It's the sleep modification. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go. seconds. There's the farts. The back farts. Oh. Well, if anything, giggling through your tough workout can help a little bit. Oh. You have to do back farts to make it happen. And then glue that back down on the ground to get rid of those. We are so close to being done. 15 seconds. Almost, almost. Getting up higher towards those toes. Reaching up as far as you can. Oh, damn. Awesome work. <laughs> Thanks for entertaining. Yeah, that was good. The pyramid. The time, uh, the time actually, you know it's nice, the time went by really quick. Mm -hmm. um, just like the usual, I wasn't really, you know, energetic before. Uh, but see what 20 minutes can do? Puts a smile on your face. I'm happy! Go figure! Go, go figure! It totally does. Actually working out with a partner, I think, makes a huge difference. It's so much more motivational. It can help you keep a better pace. Yeah. Help keep you going when you're feeling like you're totally burnt out. Yeah, and I it's nice it. like to talk back and forth. I mean. I mean, usually I train alone or I'm shooting or whatever. So, you know, you can get into that mundane, like, you know, lethargic. I'm doing it by myself. It's hard to get motivated. I don't have an appointment to meet somebody, all of those things. So, I mean, it is really nice to, to do all of those things with somebody. So this is an awesome workout. Um, thank you yeah. for having me. Thanks for joining me. And uh, we will see you. For the next time, unless you got something. Something else? No, this that's your, it. This is your workout. This is my workout. I have sign, a blast. Sign it off. Yeah. I'll, I'll do my little. Yeah. My heart. Come do this workout with us and more, hopefully, in the future, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Love it.